the plus one half at squared is all, drops out. Mm -hmm. And so horizontally, we get 25 is equal to 0.5 t, and then vertically, so therefore t is equal to 50 seconds. Vertically, plug it into the exact same equation, 40 is equal to vi times 50. So 0.8 meters per second, that's how fast the water's going. This is not 0.94. They have 0.94. No, sorry, that's a different number. It's 0.8 for the how fast is the water flowing. Okay. I was looking at the speed of the swimmer with respect to the front that rests on the ground. How do you find that? Oh, okay. So we're back over there again. So the speed of no, I circle it, and yet I still have trouble finding it. Speed of a swimmer with respect to the friend rest upon the ground. So this is the swimmer with respect to the earth. Would be the velocity of the swimmer with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the earth. Again, making sure that I got the same reference in those two spots. So um, point, wait, point zero eight. It's the point eighty. That's the water with respect to the earth, right? Yes. What's and the velocity of the swimmer. So, is that not the point 0.5? So, yeah, that's 0.5, but we've got to think. This example over here was one dimensional. The problem from that we looked at before, problem 52, was one dimensional. This is a two dimensional problem. So, again, can't get away with just pluses and minuses. You got to use i hat, j hat, or something of that ilk. So, i hat that direction, let's just make that direction j hat. So this would be swimmer with respect to the water, that's 0.5 meters per second, I hat, plus water with respect to the earth is 0.8 J hat. And it's asking for, I think, speed? Yes. Well, this is velocity, speed, so we're finding the magnitude 0.5, 0.8. Tag right there. Right. How does the I hat and the J hat play into it though? The fact that they're perpendicular means I can do Pythagorean the theorem here. I'm still adding the two vectors together. That if, if all, the question only asks what is the velocity of the swimmer swimmer with respect to the friend, then tack on units and we're done there. Yeah. But because they're asking for speed, I need to find the magnitude of the velocity. And so when adding vectors head to tail, you draw one, and that's the next, and that's your starting point for the next vector, which you then add. And so the resultant, the sum, is a vector from where you started to where you ended. And so speed is just asking for the magnitude of this. I think I understand that. I don't know if I'd be able to do it on the quiz, if this is the question you thought it was. <laughs> Even if we had the quiz right now and you were just seeing this. Like, yeah, my brain doesn't work that well. Okay. <laughs> I wish it could. I can't, yeah. like, I can't, like, take a picture of that and apply it. It just, just doesn't work. Well, um, I'm not understanding of where you got the, is that Galilean uh, relativity? Where it says vector SE is equal to vector of the swimmer in relation to the water the vector of the water in relation to the earth. Is that Galilean relative? That is Galilean relative. Okay. Is it just a vector plus a vector is equal to um, your final? Like, well, in, in essence, yes, but it's not as casual as you just put it. Right. Because in the, in the um, example, they did of the... They did the vector of the, um, it says SG. I'm not entirely sure what they mean there, but it's probably the same thing up there. Swimmer first round. Okay. Um, and they did the square root of the um, BSW squared plus BWE uh, squared. Right. I don't understand why they did the square root of the square. All right, so 
ultimately I'm adding these two, two vectors that are perpendicular to each other. Right. With adding vectors, you draw one of them, then you draw the other from where the last one ended. Mm -hmm. So here, in blue here, I have my process of adding them. Green is my sum. So I'm trying to figure out what is the length of this. Oh, so that's tangent squared is equal to sine squared plus cosine squared. So yeah, I would have said Pythagorean theorem, but yeah, that, yeah. in essence, it's the same. C squared plus is equal to A squared plus B squared. Yes, definitely. And so, okay, then we'd have to square root the whole thing after doing it. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. And tack on units at the end. If you couldn't tell, I've been grading something recently where it wasn't this far. Where a lot of the units will bust off. But not forget. This class is awesome. That's why we put our units on. <laughs> if no one ever forgets a unit again, I will write a ballad and sing it for generations. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are not that many generations left in me, but you know, for at least one generation. At least one. Just a thought that counts. <laughs> Maybe it'll live on. As long as I don't have to do the work. <laughs> now, I had a bet with another class that if they all got a, there was one particular test, if they got a, any question, everybody got it right. I would do the worm. <laughs> you do the worm? Did you yeah, do it? it would, no, I, I felt uh, safe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell them which question it was? No, it would if they had gotten any of them. Wow. It wasn't one particular one. It was just it was one question to, that everybody got. They right. all had to get the same question, right? Yes. Okay. Guys, what if we did that? I need a lot more than the worm. <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Question. This is from the problem you did in class. I'm missing what I think should have a squared sign. Can you confirm that this sign here should be cosine squared? That should be cosine squared, okay, yes. Okay. I was about to say, I assume that you left the two off and not me, but yes, um, I would it's on videotape, so, or videotape, there's old school. <laughs> there's a video of it. <laughs> we can confirm. <laughs> All right, I say let's get this thing done. Yeah. When this is over, the intent is that we will start on forces. And I definitely need to talk about what's happening on Wednesday. Before I flash the quiz for the world to see.